Maybe I can make it to that wall. Let's see. Oh no. And now what? Yep, and now what? Welcome back to Blar. We're going to take a look at a game called Forgotten Journey. It's a free game off Steam. It came out in 2021. So I had it in my library for a while. Got around to playing it. It's super short. I don't know if I could recommend it, playing it or not. Uh, it's very easy to. Let's just get to it. How to play right here. Basic controls. It does have controller support for the game, which is nice. Go ahead, new game. Confirm. No real story fleshed out in this game. They kind of throw you into it and slightly give you an overview of what's kind of going on. So it's a pretty cool alien world though. You can see here, got these like mushrooms and crystals. It's like a valley kind of thing. This is your main character. Where, where am I? Hey you, over here. What? So that alien's like your guide. Look a bit lost, don't ya? Over here, stranger. The character model is pretty okay. Uh, color palette blends in slightly with the environment, but it's not too bad. I think they did a good job and controls very well as far as like response and movement. There is some jumping issues here and there. Here, and away. What's your name? Uh oh, Manka. Cool. I'm Balsa. Nice to meet you. So yeah, Manka and partner. He doesn't say much else. He just kind of walk around. See the butterflies flying around. Okay, got it. See that person late. You have something. So it's kind of uh, based on maybe like a Tomb Raider kind of thing, as you can see. There's a lot of like this and just climbing. Did a good job. This is by Digipin. Uh, Institute of Technology. So it could be a student game, I don't know. But they did a pretty good job, I think. As far as like building a, a world. Come on, these mushrooms. This place is huge. Yeah, the jungle is massive. So those butterflies kind of guide you where to go next. So you do explain. It'll look like you can bring that case in. We have some beam here, but it's pretty easy. You don't really have to worry about falling off at all. Hey, I can see the way. You just press forward, and she's pretty much stuck on there. I don't know if it's like an intention to slow gameplay down to make it a little bit longer. I know, I know. Just gotta think of something else. How, how did they end up here? That's a long story. But I'd say it has something to do with these crystals. What are they? Fuck yous. So the voice and text don't always match. But for the most part, they do. Say so we're up. Down here. How did you get here so fast? Yeah, you'll, you'll notice the, the guy just kind of appears where he needs to. Hmm? Interesting. One thing is nice, you don't have to wait as you saw. Like as soon as he was on there and the door kinda opened, you can just run through. Oh my god. This way. Really? So here comes some story. Wow. What is this? This, my friend, is what brought you here. I don't understand. Listen, you remember all those crystals around you? My planet was fueled and constructed by the power of these stones. I see. One of its greatest powers is the ability to create portals that allow my civilization to travel long distances in a matter of seconds. And it looks like it connected your world with mine. But what's the logic behind it? That, my friend, is a mystery. Now let's go! 
So here, I'm thinking maybe a cutscene was planned. He just walks through. Wow. That was awesome. Oh, can you walk back through? No, you can't, you can't backtrack. No reason to, that I know of. And the butterflies. That rock is too high for us. <laughs> we might be able to use something to climb up there. Not too high, of course. <laughs> so, and that's like the extent of like the the brain bending puzzle aspect of this game. There's one at the end that's a little more to, to do, but no, use won't take you long. On the other side. <laughs> nice. You're really good at this. Are you sure this is the way? Do you trust me or not? Yeah, most of the time, really have a choice. it's pretty responsive. <laughs> this is exhausting. Come on, my car. You're almost there. And the voiceovers, it's nice. You know, it does help. Flesh out this very short game a little more. Uh, here, you do have to be careful not to jump to the left. Or you will get soft locked down there. I couldn't find my way out. There could be a way out, but I couldn't find it. So I had to restart. And you can restart from last checkpoint, which is nice. So I'm guessing they knew that would happen here and there. There is a part coming up that I did get stuck on for a second because the controls said one thing and it's actually a different thing. So here, if you look at the controls, it says left trigger to jump back. And you don't see right trigger on here at all. So at this point, you actually hold right trigger until C looks back, then hit the A button, and she'll jump. Nope. That stinks. <laughs> um, maybe I can make it to that wall. Let's see. Oh, no. And no. Yep, and now what? Seriously? It looks risky, I know. But this is the only way. So, try not to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna rate this game like out of ten because it's too short really. You'll play it in fifteen minutes, you'll be done, as long as you don't haul off stuff or get um soft locked anywhere. I think here you can clip through this wall sometimes. But again, it does have a restart from checkpoint, which is very nice. So that's pretty much all the mechanics. How did you get up here? I took a shortcut. A shortcut? Wasn't this the only way? Um well, watching you climb was pretty fun. <laughs> Not funny. Just as a reminder, I don't know where I am. So that's most of the game. If you do want to play it, I won't spoil it. Uh, it does have a little more story and another puzzle at the end. It's a little more to do. And it's fun enough. Um, very short. If you want to just a time waster for like 15 minutes. Do some climbing. Check out a pretty cool looking world. And it does have a little bit of a story. So this is Forgotten Journey, free off Steam. Check it out, or don't. If you do, let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.